chicken Polynesian. Two sukiyaki. Chicken Polynesian, apparently. Well, that does it. Hey, wait a minute. Any sukiyaki left? Sure. Good. Better yaki up a couple extra orders. Might have to grease some of the guys on shore patrol. No grease in my food. <laughs> ah, get it. Hey, how are we doing, Gruber? Down in this load, we got over 600 bucks in the pot. Ah, hey, that's nice. 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 Uh oh, here comes our den mother. <laughs> All right, men. I've made a firm decision. Unload that food. This whole thing's got to stop at once. <laughs> well, I am the officer in charge here, right? Absolutely right. Yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. Now, look, you guys, be reasonable. After all, I'm responsible until Commander McHale gets back from New Caledonia. Now, you wouldn't want him to get in trouble, would you? Hey, you guys! Hey, here comes the skipper. Oh, oh he's no. not due back until tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you, Coxon. Return to the base. If that's a crap game going on, count me in. <laughs> hey, skipper, let me take the rap. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Well, what's the matter? You guys don't seem very happy to see me back. <laughs> All right. Gruber, this looks like one of your operations. What's going on here? Can I try for a couple of lies, or are you pressed for time? <laughs> I would like to get out of this uniform. Makes me feel like I'm in the Navy, you know? What's the pitch? Instant luau's. <laughs> You know how miserable the chow is over on the base, so we got Fuji to cook the stuff up here, package it, sell it to the guys over there, two bucks a pop. I'm gone for four days. I come back, I find you guys running a seagone cafeteria. Unload the boat, the whole deal's off. Wait a minute, Skipper. We gotta deliver these orders. We collected in advance. Now, you don't want us to be dishonest. <laughs> All right. But this is the absolute end, you understand? I ought to bust you down to apprentice seaman. Oh, well, uh, pardon me, sir, but uh, according to regulations, the commanding officer is responsible for the actions of his crew, and, well, since I was in charge while you were away, I feel if anybody's to get busted, it, it should be me, sir. Can you undo that little clasp there? Look, uh, Chuck, it's a nice gesture, and I admire you for it. But I think you'd better go on being an ensign, huh? I don't think you'd ever make it as an enlisted man. <laughs> for dinner. I'm sorry to bother you, but this is an important message I just got from the fleet. Admiral Stryker is due in here tomorrow night, so I want you to alert all hands on the base that there will be an... Ins what is that I smell in there? What, sir? I don't smell anything. You don't smell anything? The whole place reeks of it. Reeks, sir? Of what, sir? Well, I don't know. What? That's what I'm asking you. Of what? 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 That's food. That's what I smell is food. What's in there? In there, sir? Yes, in there. What's in there? Well, just my laundry, sir. You know, uh, but, uh, but, uh, my shirts, my socks. Really? It's the first time I ever knew that Navy socks smelled like fried chicken. <laughs> my carpenter. No wonder you've had indigestion. You've been eating your socks. <laughs> I'm sorry I deceived you, sir. But when I had a chance for a really good meal, I, I just couldn't help myself. Captain, try it yourself. You'll see just what I mean. I ought to put you on a report for lying to me, sneaking food into your quarters like this. I'll break it. Hey. Hmm. That's delicious. 
sauce is superb. It has a definite oriental flavor. You should try the sukiyaki, sir. American style, of course. Sukiyaki? You mean you can get a choice? I'm oh, yes, sir. Where, you get... Where do you get food like this? I bought it from one of the seamen, sir. A seaman? A seaman on my base? I've been selling delicious food like this behind my back? Well, not exactly on the base, sir. Oh, no. Not one of McHale's men. Now that you know about this, sir, maybe it's all for the best. What do you mean by that? I once served under Admiral Stryker, sir. He's a very strict disciplinarian. Mm. But he does have one little weakness. It seems he's a bit of a gourmet. Oh? And I was just thinking, sir, maybe you could borrow McHale's cook and uh, hit the Admiral right where he lives, sir. <laughs> what do you mean, borrow him? Who's the commanding officer here? I've transferred his cook to my kitchen permanently. <laughs> oh, and I'm Carpenter. Yes, sir. Make a note. First thing in the morning, check out all of our chipped beef. Have it shipped to McHale's Island. <laughs> I warned you, clam heads. But no, you had to deliver one more load of instant luau's. And what do we get? Instant trouble. Now, don't get steam, Skipper. We're out of business. We're retired. So what's to worry? What's to worry? I got orders to deliver our cook to Captain Binghamton at 1,100 hours. That's to worry. No, Skipper-san, please don't send me to Captain. Oh, of course not, Fuji. He doesn't even know you're here. Gruber, this is your operation. You better start to operate, boy. You report to Captain Binghamton, and don't forget your chef's hat. Now, wait a minute, Skipper. According to the regulations, on a dangerous mission beyond the call of duty, you've got the call for volunteers. All right. You guys want to do it like they do in the movies? OK. Line up here. Come on. Line up, all of you. All right. Now, uh, would a volunteer please step forward? Oh, come on now, will you? That gang went down with Manila off Dewey. I mean, Dewey off Manila. <laughs> now, look, you guys. Now, let's stop horsing around, and we got to start thinking. Come on now. Let's think, think, think. Hey, I got it. Why don't we put all the names in the hat and draw one? Hey, that's yeah. a good idea. Good so, Let me get this straight. You put the six names in the hat, and somebody draws out the pigeon? Right. And we'll use my hat, so there won't be any question of cheating. <laughs> oh, this I gotta see. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, you guys. Write down our name. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Good. Now, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, here, Skip. You draw them. They trust you. Ah. Huh. Harry S. Truman. Step forward, please. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Come on, what is that? Get going, Skipper. I'm sure there's one honest guy in the outfit. Oh. Well, it's more like it. Harrison Tinkerbell. How's that get me? I've been framed. I'm Harry Truman. Well, look, we're not going to do it all over again. You're it. Yeah, I won't do it. I'll go over the hill. I'd rather surrender to the Japanese and serve under Captain Binghamton. I'm not to blame you. All right, all right. Take it easy. Well, now, will you, Tinker? Now, while you guys were out smarting each other, I was doing a little figuring. And I got it figured out how you can be back here by chow down tonight. Yeah, how? Well, it's simple. You report to the captain as ordered. And then you cook our peerless leader. Such a snap food lunch, he'll throw you right off the base. As you were. How's everything, Bell? Have you got everything you need? I'm doing the best I can, sir, but it's very difficult for an artist like I am to create in such strange surroundings. <laughs> I miss my own little kitchen. <laughs> oh, well, there, there, there. If lunch is anything like your chicken Polynesian, I'll build you your own little kitchen. Oh, gracias. Uh, all right, yeah. Do you mind if I sneak a taste? Of... No, please. My masterpiece. It is not finished yet. Oh, well, uh, could you just hurry it along? My battered taste buds are quivering already. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui, oui. Gasson, get six plates. What up? What up? Seasoning. Shape in the galley, sir. How's the new ship? Oh, he's creating like mad. I tell you, it was a stroke of genius to transfer that man here. Hello, Commander. How are you? 
I think I hear what used to be the best fed man in my command. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Hi, Lieutenant Commander McHale reporting his orders, sir. Hiya, Coffee. <laughs> Uh, McHale, you've already been informed that Admiral Stryker plans an inspection tour at 1,800 hours. Oh? Pardon me, sir. Your lunch is served. Oh, good, good. Ah, uh, well, in that case, sir, uh, we'll shove off and get back to work. Yes, sir. Rub a dub dub. Ah, <laughs> uh, McHale. Yes, sir. Don't want you to go away mad. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Jackson, set two more places. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much, sir, but we got our chow waiting back on the island, yes, sir. But it's nothing like we're going to have here, is it, Mikhail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say that again, sir. <laughs> but uh, you'll excuse us, sir. We're so used to that rich food that well, we're trying to kick the habit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I must say, you're both very good. Anson, I'm still talking to you. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time later to gorge yourself on that chipped beef. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't want to make this an order, but uh, sit down. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, that looks like some sort of an exotic casserole. Why do you want to Me too. Bad, 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 bad. Ah, uh, beef, too. Oh, beef, good, I like that. Go ahead, Mikhail. Oh, after you, sir. Now, let's not stand on ceremony. <laughs> A little spicy, isn't it, sir? Get the chef in here. Yes, sir. I'll be like that. Mikhail, you're responsible for this. Oh, well, well, Captain, whatever do you mean? You know what I mean. You rigged this whole thing to get the cook away from me. You must think I'm stupid or something. Oh, no, 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 sir. You got it all wrong. Well, you know how temperamental great chefs are. Yeah, when you had Bill transferred here, sir, he, well, he just couldn't put his heart in his work. Hmm, well, he put everything else in it. Oh, no, Mikhail, I'm not buying that. But you've got to believe me, sir. Bell is homesick. He needs his shipmates, his buddies. Nonsense. Oh, no, sir. That's a man's loyalty for his shipmates. That's what makes the Navy go, go, go. That secret weapon that carries a man through shot and shell, fearless and unafraid, for knowing that by his side is his buddy. You're touching me. Dale, I've got enough on you to put you and your whole motley crew away. You can't get away with this sort of thing. What is the matter with you? But, 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 don't let me! You go in that kitchen and you tell Bell to create his chicken pollination for the Admiral's dinner tonight, and he'd better make it good. Because if he doesn't, I'll transfer him back to his buddies in Leavenworth. Yes, sir. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Skipper. Skipper, you gotta get me out of this. I'm too young to go to jail. What am I gonna do? You heard what Binghamton said. You gotta make dinner for the Admiral tonight. But I even burn cornflakes. I'm cooking. I can't cook and you know it. Well, look, it's either chicken Polynesian tonight or bread and water for all of us. Well, you know, though, Skip, the food at Leavenworth can't be that bad. After all, it's a federal prison. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. Let me think, will you? There must be some way out of this mess. Hey, I got an idea. What? Look, why don't we get the recipe from, uh, F-U-J-I. Hey, give it to... T-I-N... Well, Tinker. Well, don't you suppose he could... Get... He couldn't. Hey, wait a minute. Why bring over just the recipe? Let's bring over the whole dinner. That's it. We'll have Fuji cook up a whole pot full of goodies. We'll ferry him over and sneak him into you. All you have to do is sit tight. Come on, partner. We got a pickup to make. Two chicken Polynesian dinners to go. <laughs> and remember... When it's burning, it's cooking. When it's black, it's done. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. I could just scream. <laughs> the shore patrol but relax everything's all set now yeah everything's all set for tonight but what about tomorrow one problem at a time if you don't make it with the admiral tonight you won't be here tomorrow hey now look fuji says to stir this every now and then so it won't stick 
Mr. Kale. <laughs> What are you doing here? If this is more sabotage. Ah, uh, wait a minute, sir. I, I, no, no, wait a minute now, sir. I, I'm just over here checking the goodies, and uh, I want everything to be just right for you and the Admiral, sir. Yes, sir. That'll be the day. Uh, there's something wrong here. It's delicious. <laughs> you know, sir, sometimes I get the feeling you just don't trust me completely, sir. Mikhail, wherever you're involved, there are only two possibilities. One is that something is wrong, and the other is that something is going to go wrong. <laughs> well, nothing is going to go wrong while the Admiral is here. And to make sure you and your motley crew are going on a mission to, uh, oh, let's say, uh, Matua? Uh, Matua? Yes, let's say that. But there's nothing on our island but tsetse flies. We, we checked it out last week. Well, you go back there and you count the tsetse's. Now, put to sea immediately. <laughs> you mind if I take time to pick up some fuel, sir, and a couple of dozen fly swatters? Get out of here. Yes. <laughs> Will you excuse me, sir? I'm in a stirring mood. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Well, I must say, the base seems to be in good shape, Binghamton. Oh, well, thank you very much, Admiral. And if I may say so, sir, the best is yet to come. Oh, yeah. Carpenter tells me you've got the finest cook in the South Pacific. <laughs> well, I try to run a happy ship. And I, I think you'll be happy to be aboard, Admiral, when you taste my cook specialty. It's a chicken Polynesian. Oh, sounds interesting. I, I tell you, Admiral, it's a gourmet's delight. It's a tender young chicken. He's just swimming around in an exotic sauce. It's as sweet as honey, and it's as rich as freshly drawn butter. Oh, well, now, that's not for me. I've just been put on a strict, low-calorie diet. Oh, uh, these rich sauces are out. Excuse me, sir, uh, but the captain's cook has another specialty that should be just what the doctor ordered. It's a, a very healthy, sir, full of vegetables and, and very low in calories. It's what we call our island version of sukiyaki. Oh, so sukiyaki. Yes, yeah, sir, I was just about to suggest that, Admiral. Sukiyaki. Well, that sounds excellent. I haven't had a good sukiyaki since Tokyo. Before the war, of course. <laughs> Before the war, the Admiral. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Very <laughs> Carpenter, tell Chef Bell to prepare the sukiyaki. We'll all have sukiyaki. Mm. I got you. That won't sound, Admiral. Mm. I dream of cheating with the light. Brown Oh, Lieutenant, it is almost ready, and if I may say so, sir, the Admiral's about to become a member of my Chicken Polynesian fan club. I'm sorry, Bill, but the chicken's out. The Admiral wants your sukiyaki. Oh, really? Well, I'll be only too glad to... Sukiyaki, but... but... No buts. What the Admiral wants, the Admiral gets. Now, don't get nervous, Bill. The Captain realizes that this will take a little time, but just make this as good as your Chicken Polynesian, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> now, uh, shall we carry on? <laughs> Okay, take her over, Chuck. Steady she goes. And, uh, try not to ram the Admiral's cruiser there, will you? Hey, there's a light flashing off to port. Huh? Looks like somebody's making a signal from the base. <laughs> hey, it's Tinker. Uh, bring her around, Chuck. Well, what's it saying? It's saying, help! Help! <laughs> Get on the blinker, Willie. Find out what's wrong. Kill the engines, Chuck. Kill the engines. Lucky Pierre, I caught him in time. <laughs> what's he say, Willie? What's he say? Well, without the cuss words, he said the Admiral pulled a switch and wants sukiyaki. Sukiyaki? <laughs> now what are we gonna do? We're really cooked. But not yet. Well, we gotta start cooking something right now. Look, Willie, tell him it's on the fire. Tell him to ad-lib it until we get the stuff over to him. Come on. Live it. I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> Sir, it's like a light flashing from the Taratupa base. Tinker says he can't add Nibbit without knowing what's in it. Oh, for crying out. Fuji! Fuji! Come up here. What in places is in sukiyaki? Thin sliced beef? Ah, thin sliced beef 
Chapanian. Chapanian. French shirataki. Pretty shirataki. <laughs> shirataki? What shirataki? <laughs> shirataki. What's shirataki? Uh, sounds Japanese. Must be code. We better find out who they're signaling to. Pass the word for a spotter plane. Hey, unidentified plane at 9 o'clock. No, 8.30. It's about quarter to nine. The big hands on me. Head the deck! <laughs> Looks like a plane from the cruiser, Skipper. I guess it'd be about 9.30. Ah, knock it off, Chuck. Hey, you guys! Get over that rubber boat! We got a banquet to deliver! Chick one to Mother Hen. Chick one to Mother Hen. Come in, Mother Hen. Unidentified craft floating off Teratuba Base, showing no lights. About that shirataki, sir. I checked it out. It's a Japanese word. Huh? What's it mean? Noodles. Noodles. <laughs> Noodles? That's got to be cold. <laughs> you think Hibachi, keep through the hot scan. Watch it. Damn it. Boy, it's murder to give that stuff away for free. <laughs> Hold on back there, Happy. All right. All right, let me have a look. All right, let's shove off. Hey, Skipper, take your signaling again. I'll tell him we're on our way. All right, let go. Fuji. Hurry. Stamp. Hold. Admiral. Much. Longer. Fuji? Admiral? That's no code. Chick one, the mother hen. Small boat leaving, unidentified craft headed for the base. Looks like there's some kind of a fire on it. Sound general quarters, alert the base. Jap commando raid. They're after Admiral Stryker. Will you get it right here? What's in that? Uh, well, uh, anyone for sukiyaki? Yaki? Yeah, yeah, it must have floated uh, uh, up from a job submarine. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, tell it to the Admiral. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. You can't do that to us. We're officers. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they can. <laughs> I'm waiting for your explanation, Mikhail, if there is one. But I must warn you, anything you say will be used against you and Bell and your court martial. Oh, now leave Bell out of this, sir. It wasn't his fault. Why, he didn't even cook the stuff. And who did, Mikhail? Who, who, who? Well, I guess I might as well confess. Can't do that, Skipper. They'll bust you. No, Mr. Parker. No, no more lies. The time has come to tell the whole truth. It was me, sir. Oh, Mikhail. You, Skipper? He knew. Yes, it was him. Yeah. Matter, do you mean to say that you're actually this famous cook? That's right, sir. I guess I should have told the whole truth to Captain Binghamton before, sir, but, well, he was so anxious to make your visit a memorable one that, well, I just couldn't let him down, sir. Captain, you may not have the best cook in the South Pacific, but you certainly have a loyal friend and shipmate. Uh, well, that's my buddy, sir. <laughs> I don't know about you, gentlemen, but I'm starved. Mmm, it smells delicious. It looks superb. <coughs> McHale, I can't borrow you for a cook, but I can certainly borrow your recipe. What is it? Borrow my flashlight, sir? I'll write it out and get it to you first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Fine. Captain, bring that over to the table. <laughs> Well, he said, Captain. Oh, shut up. 